Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Bissell, the director of the New River Health District. Today's Friday, October 9th, and I'm going to give you a brief update on COVID-19 in our area. That includes Giles, Pulaski, Montgomery and Floyd counties, as well as the city of Bradford. Many of you have written us with your questions and concerns. This is very helpful as your questions help us understand your concerns. If you have a question, it's likely other people are wondering the same thing. We're here to share our understanding of this pandemic with you. Our answers to your questions will be posted on the NRV Road to Wellness page where you submitted the question. How are we doing in the New River Valley? We've had community transmission throughout this region since the summer, and we will probably continue at a low level, which means we must all continue to wear our masks, watch our distance, and wash our hands. We do not have to stay locked in our homes to accomplish this. We encourage everyone to enjoy the outdoors as much as possible. Just bundle up when it's cold. When the students return this fall, we had an expected spike in new cases, which has since gone down as projected. The students shared COVID-19 within their social circles, but there's no measurable evidence that they shared it within the greater community. Cases in the community are almost all contracted in social gatherings. Meanwhile, all the schools in the region are in session at some level. We do have some people contracting COVID-19, but our contact tracing shows they are picking it up in social settings or at home and not at school. Our investigations are showing no measurable evidence that COVID-19 is being transmitted in our K through 12 schools. That's good news, but it doesn't mean we can let down our masks, as Luann Reif of the Roanoke Times put it. We can control transmission and protect our vulnerable loved ones only by staying the course. COVID-19 doesn't get tired and want to break. The cases in our region are going down. Our seven day average in the district is 38 and in Montgomery County, which has the highest, it is 31. In Montgomery County, the cases continue to be mostly college students and their caseload continues to drop. We use the seven day average as a more accurate measure of what's happening because daily counts reflect data entry lags. As we move through this COVID storm, we can sometimes get confused or sloppy with different words. Many people in the community, for example, are confused about isolation and quarantine, and they use the terms interchangeably. That's because isolation and quarantine look the same. People stay home, avoid public places, and take extra care with disinfection and distance protocols. While the behavior is similar in public health, we treat them differently. Everyone who's been exposed is asked to quarantine for 14 days from the time of exposure. We know from our data that 99% of the people will develop symptoms in 14 days. Most will develop symptoms in five to nine days. Most quarantine people do not go on to develop COVID-19. Isolation, on the other hand, is for people with a positive COVID-19 diagnosis. We ask them to isolate for 10 days after the start of symptoms or their test date if they are symptom free. We've had some questions this week about wearing a mask if you've had COVID and recovered. We answer the question in depth on the NRV Road to Wellness website, but the short answer is yes. Although we do believe that immunity is conferred by having had the disease, we don't know for how long, and we don't know how effective your body's immunological memory will be. I'd like to talk about happy events. With the added stress of the pandemic this year, many of us are interested in seeing friends and family, especially over the holidays. This is very possible, even though each household may have a different risk profile. We encourage everyone not to isolate yourselves and lock yourselves inside. Please arrange to meet a friend or family member outside with appropriate distancing. We're asking all residents to keep your gatherings small, outside whenever possible, and masked when inside or when very close for prolonged periods outside. Even as the weather gets cooler, we need to be outside as much as possible. Bundle up and keep your distance, and you can visit with people in small groups. The more you mix your social pods or social bubbles, the more risk you encounter. Although some local governments have placed limits of 50 on gatherings, you are safer with small rooms. We are asking everyone in the community 
to get a flu shot before the end of the month. Remember, you can get your flu vaccine at local pharmacies or at your physician's office. The health department will offer free flu shots in a drive through clinic on Wednesday, October 14th at Blacksburg High School from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We'll be at the Floyd Recreational Ballpark on October 15th from 9 a.m. to noon and at the Dublin Fairgrounds on October 20th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Friday the 30th, we'll be at Giles High School from 9 to 12. We're also working with schools to offer flu vaccinations again this year. We thank you for all your help and your patience as we deal with this pandemic. The best way to help is to stay informed, watch your distance, wear a mask, wash your hands, and don't touch your face. Thank you.